Let me show you how we can change a backdrop color in Affinity by Canva. We cannot select the backdrop by default, but if you select the artboard tool from the list, that's the tool for adding additional pages. If you click insert artboard at the top for the very first time, you are not going to add page number two just yet. We simply unlock this feature. And as you can see now, in the layer panel, I can see the first artboard, the page number one. From now on, I will be able to select that artboard and choose any color I want for it. All right, so simply unlock your page number one by heading to artboards and clicking insert artboard. When you click this for the first time, you're kind of inserting the artboard one that is already here. If I keep clicking on it, I will be adding pages. So I got now artboard number two. If you add this by mistake, remember you can click on it and hit delete on your keyboard and you've got just one page left. All right, so that's method number one. In case you want a fancy feel, we can always go to here at the top left and select between a solid color or gradient. And we can even use gradient as our fill color as the backdrop color for this artboard. If you like to have a bit more control, you can also consider doing some kind of container for your backdrop. So in that case, you simply use the rectangle tool, draw it, drag to corners. It should snap just like that. And then we can use this shape as the container as our backdrop. You can name it backdrop and you can even lock it so you will not move or change this layer by mistake using this lock tool. And here it is, we got a shape that is used as the backdrop. All right, I hope you like those two methods. I will see you in the next tutorial.